welcome back and in today's video i'll guide you through the process on how to install and set up the google keyboard also known as the gboard on your samsung galaxy z fold 6. so the first step is to launch play store and in play store you want to use the search feature and look for gboard once you found it listed in the search results you want to tap on it to view the app details then you want to tap on install to start downloading it onto your phone so wait patiently for the app to be installed then once it's been installed you can tap on open to launch it or you can go back to the home screen and tap on the app again to launch it from there so once you've launched the app you'll need to enable it so go through these instructions so tap on enable in settings then you should see this Gboard option here. You want to tap on the toggle next to it to turn it on. So once it's been enabled, you can now go back to G, the, uh, the setup menu. And then you want to select it as your input method. So this means you're switching from the default Samsung keyboard to your Gboard. So to continue with the setup, do that. So select input method, choose Gboard, and then you're done. So from here, we can now add additional customizations we can add languages we can set our preferences change the theme customize text correction glide typing voice typing and all sorts of options that we have available for us so let's say for example you choose to add languages you can just tap on add keyboard then you can scroll through the language list or you can use the search feature and look for the language you want to add then once you've selected your language, tap on and you've chosen the keyboard style you want, you want to tap on done and you should see it added to your languages list. If you want to change the theme, you can just tap on theme. Then you can have all sorts of theme packs you can choose from. You can even choose to customize your own theme by using one of your filters from your phone. So have fun customizing your Gboard. And then once you've finished customization, when you go to use your keyboard, you should see you have your brand new Gboard. So say for example, you've added multiple languages to your keyboard, it's fairly simple to switch between them. All you need to do is simply long press on this globe icon, then you should see the language list appearing. So now you have all sorts of languages that you have added onto your Gboard, and it's up to you to switch between them. Alternatively, you can always just uh, use the space but button and long press again to bring up that same menu. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.